We have to cheat more to make up for the money that they've uh, had to pay in fines. But he's not going to go out there and give 300,000 pedestrians a ticket every day for jaywalking and breaking the law when there's only 150 couriers who he can arrest and do that to. You deliver in the city on Kent Street to the kindergarten and there's a bunch of three-year-olds there and they're all waving their hands in the air. First we wait, 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 then we watch, watch, watch and walk, walk, walk. You know, that's why we have these little sayings, look before you leap. Don't look while you're leaping, don't look after you've leapt. It's too late. Thanks a bunch, mate. Hey, don't walk, accident, mate. Accident. Hey! Oh, I suppose you're looking for bikes. Yes, when you cross, less than 20 metres. Keep your voice down, yeah? No, I won't keep my voice down. You've knocked me off. You're walking away, say, oh, it's all right, it's all right. There's something wrong with your bike? Yes, there's something wrong with me. Don't you dare! It's, it's not a wanton aggression sometimes, it's a physical aggression. It is a real aggression. It happens. It's called stress. Don't hurt me. No. Don't hurt me. Turn your leg in for me. The metalwork in his knees has uh, included screws, staples and little buttons. They have held his knee together and each time a revision procedure occurs, uh, it's necessary to remove the old bit of metal to get the new piece uh, of graft into that position. because each time you're doing more damage to the joint surface and more damage to the menisci and the uh, cartilages within the knee and ultimately he will end up with long-term problems uh, in terms of osteoarthritis within his knee. Almost certainly he will require a total knee replacement in the future if he lives long enough. Masses run the last Friday of every month, you know, to let people know that that there are lots of people that ride push bikes and they would like to be included in town planning. In the CBD, I, I haven't seen many many bike uh, lanes anywhere, so people have just left to fend for themselves in the traffic, pretty much, or or have a go on the footpath and run the risk of knocking over a pedestrian. It just seems ludicrous not to try and develop something that is so good for everybody. A small amount of noise, no pollution. I still think the roads can't sustain the traffic that's on it through peak hours. It's going to be essential soon to say, no, you can't bring your car in. Well, it's usually on the last Friday of the month. Uh, it's the last thing you want to do. You're covered in shit and aches and pains from the usual clogging of a Friday and the last thing you want to do is don your bike in the uh, the art of protest and oh no sorry but yeah good on them good on them go for it yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the way to go isn't it so clean living clean transport and this is their way of making people listen then yeah good on them good on them I'll have a drink towards them it's a critical mass <laughs> We've all just taken a 40% pay cut without being told. You know, let's see them try and work it out on 300 bucks a week with no notice. You know, it's just not on. And we've just got to like it or lump it because the, we're not in a union. We can't do anything about it. Why did you go, Why did you sign on and do work this morning when we all agreed not to? Okay. Would you guys ride from Liverpool Street to West Street for two dollars fifty-two gross? We're getting two dollars fifty gross to ride from Surrey Hills to Crow's Nest. Yet they'll still charge their clients in excess of $12, $15, $18 for that job. 
Is anyone going to come back up to Barrack Street and come to the Trade Workers Union or the courts with me? Or am I doing this all by myself? All last week, I was ringing up asking what is going on with our pay, how come we're so far down. They wouldn't tell us. They kept saying, oh, we'll talk about it later, we'll talk about it later. I'm out at $1,100 on the last four weeks. But last night in the meeting, they said, tough titties, mate. Take it or leave it. The process is you fill out the forms and then we, we give the employer a 28-day grace period. If the matter's not resolved in that 28-day period, then the matter will be allocated to an inspector and be investigated. Ready up. punch of wounds to the calf, the Achilles. It was a bugger too because I've just been reimbursed. I'm, they're, like, they're gonna reimburse me. And I'm, I think I'm allowed, allowed, I'm allowed out of here. I've lived with quite a few of these fallen sports stars. Once you've been at the top there and you know, you've got your goals set, and now that goal's been taken away from you, you'd be pretty pissed off, wouldn't you? He's got to find a new goal. I suppose, you know, he's got to make being the best career in his life now a bit of more on choice. Barney said he was working in the industry 10 years ago and getting 275. He's still getting 275 today, 10 years later. And what's happened? As far as the rate's going up, nothing. You're, you're stuck there on that rate at the moment, and the companies are dictating to you what they want to pay you. And who represented you, people? Nobody. You've been screwed by not being represented. Basically, they've been trying to form a union in the push bikes for quite a while, but most of them are just brought up from transients and backpackers. Well, all the permanent ones are just getting disillusioned. As Tennessee Williams once said, when disappointment becomes a disillusion, then it's a very sad day for us all. And, well, it is, isn't it? You know, no one's getting paid. It's just happening. It's a virtual world now. They don't want the physical piece of paper. There's emails, there's SMS, we've got optic cables and satellite. If you've got nothing physical to be transported, then you don't need a physical transporter. And you know, as a push bike, I'm a physical transporter. But then again, if you want your check signing and taking, we take it. It's a physical item. Some of your false teeth. <laughs> Gotta be respectable, apparently. Got a big day. Big day of court. A day of reckoning. Day of judgment. The court case was um, just about a settlement of uh, permanent impairment to my to my leg through a workers' comp. Six operations. The rest of my life, bad luck. In recent years, the companies that employ them have, by and large, lowered the rate at which they're paid. They have to do more deliveries, which means you've got to ride faster. To ride faster, it means less delays, and that really means more risks. You have one reconstruction, it's a pretty good result, you get back to work, you can do all these things, you keep um, working as a cycle courier, but as each injury happens, you get more surgery and each time the result isn't as good. In re-examination, I get up and say, yeah, how do your knees feel at the end of a day on the bike? And you say, they're stuffed. In some circumstances, you can negotiate with an insurer and get a payout. They pay you a sum of money so they haven't got to pay you weekly compensation anymore. That is the way in which most people on workers' compensation have some chance of getting themselves ahead because they get a lump sum. Yep, they'll come up with extra money. Will they? Yep. I'll settle. settle. Yep. Okay, excellent. Brilliant. Because we're alive Cheers. and we survive. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, Cheers B. He's had his payment, hasn't he? So he's, he's got a few things to sort out and think, you know. He doesn't have to actually struggle for his living anymore. Oh, hard days. 48. Danny, where have you been? Oh, I've been down the south coast just for the girls and the beer and the sunshine and the beach. So cheers to all you guys working today. Suck, do you know? I'm packing to leave.
just feel it running through me. Ten and a half years. Thanks, City. So I'm here for 100 hours of community service, drink driving. And they charged me for DUI, failing to stop at the RBT, um, speeding, two accounts of drink driving, a grand total of two and a half thousand dollars fine, a hundred hours community service, and two years disqualification. I did the crime, so I don't mind doing the time, you know, but stay off the cars and stick to the bikes. Because if I was on two wheels, hey, I wouldn't have stopped probably. Might have fallen off. Conversation didn't change my life, no. Uh, uh, it wasn't much money, but no, it didn't last long either. It didn't change my life. I'd love to see us get more money for what we do, but I would actually more like to see people's attitudes change. Baby cycle careers are a little bit like cockroaches. They've been here for forever. They'll probably survive a nuclear blast. We don't particularly like them, but the realities are we can't live without them. until I can't ride, physically can't do it. You know, and I'll ride till the day I drop. I can ride my bike till I'm at least 55 or 60 years old. There's no reason why not to. Hey, I'm here for good. Sorry. Tomorrow night, Asylum, falling through the cracks, looks at the effect recent deinstitutionalization policies in Canada has had on the mentally ill. Stay with us now for Insight.